Okay, so we're gonna go over how to do a, as they're well known, a Kegel contraction. Um, sometimes I just say pelvic floor activation too. So if you hear me saying that, it's the same thing as doing a Kegel contraction. So I have a few different cues I give people in order to um, learn how to perform a Kegel contraction correctly. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of go through a few of those cues and you can play around with that and see which one works best for you. But I always start people on their back with their knees bent up and then I have them place their hands on their lower abdominal muscles um, because if you get your lower abdominal muscles activated correctly, uh, you will also feel your pelvic floor activating as well. Um, another thing I tell people is when you're trying to do the Kegel contraction, I want you to really focus on pulling up towards your pubic bone here that's gonna help you get all of the muscle fibers activated correctly. It's really important you get all of the muscle fibers um, activated and not just the backside of your pelvic floor muscles. So to do that, on your back with your knees bent up comfortably, fingers on your lower abdominals, you're just gonna think about perhaps uh, stopping the flow of urine or one of my favorite cues um, that works really well is pretending like you're in an elevator with a group of people and you need to pass gas but you don't want to because you're stuck in an elevator so for some reason that works every time but um, so you're just gonna think about lifting and activating those pelvic floor muscles pulling up towards your pubic bone and then just practice that a few times before you worry about the breath pattern but the proper way to do it is to take a deep breath in and as you exhale, pull up and in with your pelvic floor. You really don't wanna be squeezing your um, buttocks muscles when you do that. You don't wanna be moving your inner, inner thigh muscles. Um, it's a very subtle activation and you shouldn't really be able to see um, that you're doing a lot when you do a Kegel contraction cor correctly. So again, deep breath in. Exhale. And pull up and in. And when you do your Kegels, you want to do both long and quick contractions. That's really important and something that's often missed when people just go out on the internet and look about look up how to do Kegels. So what I mean by that is you wanna do a long contraction holding for about 10 seconds, up to 10 seconds. Um, I'll go into more detail about how to decide uh, how long to hold your contraction um, and the self-assessment portion, but you wanna do a long contraction, you also wanna do a quick contraction. And the quick contraction is gonna be a two second hold with a four second relax. So again, you wanna do one set of long contractions and then also a set of quick contractions. So a quick contraction would look a little bit more like this. Hold one, two, and release one, two, three, four. Activate, hold one, two, and release one, two, three, four. And you would repeat that sequence. The long contraction. Hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. And you want to relax that one for longer. I usually recommend releasing and relaxing for about 10 seconds before you repeat again.